Just imagine that in Russia, in the center of Moscow, a nuclear weapon explodes. In this documentary, we explore the devastating consequences of this catastrophe. In this simulation, we will use a warhead with a 300 kiloton charge. This is by no means the strongest nuclear warhead. It's one of the most common weapons in the US military, a high precision weapon that can hit with an accuracy of about 100 meters. Some modifications of American missiles can carry three such charges in one missile. At the moment of the explosion, a nuclear fireball with a temperature comparable to the temperature on the surface of the sun is formed in the very center. In our simulation, the epicenter of the explosion is the center of Moscow, the Kremlin, Red Square. Any objects and people directly in the center of the explosion will be instantly vaporized and physically destroyed. This phenomenon is called thermal annihilation. The radius of the fireball would be about a kilometer or half a mile. The entire historic center of Moscow will turn into an explosion crater in ash. Only those who happen to be in the subway will be able to escape. Moscow subways have been designed since Soviet times, as well as bomb shelters. In the Moscow subway, there is everything to stay alive for the first time. The question is, what to do next and where to get out. Within a four kilometer radius of the epicenter or three miles, most buildings will be destroyed. The line of destruction will reach exactly to the third transportation ring. All the supreme systems of government, ministries, the state Duma, the Kremlin, all this will be within the radius of maximum destruction. The wave of destruction will reach the symbol of modern Russia, Moscow City. Buildings will be destroyed, and debris will fill the streets, creating extremely dangerous conditions for everyone in the vicinity. Taking into account the population density in the center of Moscow, the initial death toll could exceed 150,000 people and about 300,000 injured. Within a radius of seven kilometers or four and a half miles, the air will be heated to 1,000 degrees Celsius or 1832 degrees Fahrenheit, causing instant third-degree burns. Anything within that radius will catch fire. Gas stations, autobiles, power substations, gas infrastructure. Explosive facilities will explode and amplify the effect of the devastation over a vast area. According to various estimates, another 150,000 people would die from burns, debris injuries, or radiation sickness, and over half a million would be traumatized. Many of these injuries could prove fatal over the next days and weeks. Radiation sickness in particular will take lives days and weeks later. Over time, about 70,000 more will be added to the death toll. A radius of 13 kilometers or eight and a half miles is the area of light damage. A flash can cause retinal burns and the shock wave can still knock a person off their feet. The detonation of a single nuclear bomb would be enough to shatter all the windows within the Moscow Ring Road from the shockwave, which would cause additional damage in the form of wounds and injuries. The damage radius would reach 13 kilometers. The shockwave will affect Rutov in the east, the district of Otradno in the north, and Kuntsevo in the west. If the American missile explodes in the air, there will be no radioactive fallout, but if the missile explodes on the ground, then the contour of radioactive fallout can reach Yaroslavl, Vladimir, Tver, Ryazan, or Tula. It all depends on which way the wind will blow. This will cause great ecological damage to the Moscow region. The main problem of Moscow and Russia is that one-fifth of the entire Russian economy is created in Moscow, and also all branches of supreme power are located in the center of Moscow, and according to various analysts, one nuclear strike is enough for Russia to lose statehood, which will almost inevitably lead to the disintegration of such a huge country and will lead to civil wars. And due to the fact that Russia is literally stuffed with nuclear weapons, it could provoke the repeated use of nuclear weapons inside the country.